All right, so I wanted to start a new YouTube series where I show you guys plugins that you may or may not actually have heard of. So in this series, I wanted to go over mixing plugins as well as production plugins. So no matter if you're a music producer or an artist that's mixing their own music, you'll learn something here. Now today we're going to be starting off with a mixing plugin. The plugin that we're going to be talking about today is made by Slate Digital and it's called Fresh Air. Now the best part about this plugin is it's completely free. It's absolutely free. It doesn't cost money. Why didn't you have it already? You should get it. It's free. Anyway, now Fresh Air is a two knob plugin, meaning that mainly it only has two knobs to control the entire plugin. Now I find Fresh Air very helpful for both mixing instrumentals, especially things like drums or even whole master bus, or probably more importantly vocals. Let's listen to a few examples and see what Fresh Air can do for you. Okay, so I quickly recorded a few snippets on my latest beat Friday night that I uploaded just the other week. So let's start it off by just listening to the completely dry vocal signal. Pull me up and grind and grind and vibe and vibe and up and fine, but I'm feeling like I'm finally fine and what my mind inspires, many thoughts combined and I've been fighting them too long, it's time to let them shine, yeah. I am different on my life, I thought I had to hide it. Everybody used to tell me that I'll never arrive, shit, but I'm pulling up now, make my story inspiring for all the other kids thinking they have to oblige, yeah. hell no, never. Right, so it doesn't sound horrible, but it doesn't really sound good either. So I slapped on kind of my regular preset for just a quick mixing job. Now in my case, that is compiled of autotune, obviously set to the correct scale, in my case, G sharp minor, followed by a waves de to get rid of the sharp s sounds. My beloved CLA-2A compressor stack twice right behind each other. I have a full video made on just double compression, so I'll link that down in the description below or in the little thing up in the corner here. So definitely check that out if you're interested to learn more about double compression. And then as a quick and easy option, I just have CLA vocals on here with more or less the default settings. Let's check out what that chain does to our vocals. Hold me up and grind and grind and vibe and vibe and up and fine But I'm feeling like I'm finally fine and what my mind conspires Many thoughts combined and I've been fighting them too long It's time to let them shine, yeah. I am different on my life, I thought I had to hide it Everybody used to tell me that I'll never arrive Shit, but I'm pulling up now, make my story inspiring For all the other kids thinking they have to oblige, hell no Right, so you can hear how it's much more in your face That's largely due to that double compression Plus a little bit of extra compression for the CLA vocal plugins I had some of you guys point that out in the double compression video So yes, it's technically triple compression But that largely makes makes the vocal just sit right into your face. It's not dipping into very low volumes or anything like that. It's really up front and it's almost like a brick wall in terms of volume. Okay. Now let's get to fresh air, because even though this actually sounds pretty decent just as is, I feel like it needs a little bit of extra airiness. So here we have the fresh air interface. As I was saying earlier, it's a two knob plugin. So we have a mid knob and a high knob. Both of these go zero to hundred. And then another thing that you have is the ability to trim down the vocals if you peak too loud. So I'll just play around with it a little bit and exaggerate the effect. So you actually can hear what it sounds like, not just in the subtle moments. So let's see what that makes for a difference. Pull me up and grind and grind and vibe and vibe and up and fine But I'm feeling like I'm finally fine and what my mind can spice Many thoughts combined and I've been fighting them too long It's time to let them shine, yeah. I am different on my life, I thought I had to hide it Everybody used to tell me that I'll never arrive Shit, but I'm pulling up now, make my story inspiring For all the other kids thinking they have to oblige it. Hell no, never listen when somebody tells you that you have to change it I ignored it all my life and started my own lane, shit I imported all my life into a new location Thought I found what I was looking for, but shit is changing Caught up in a fucking song about the dreams I'm chasing Feeling like I'm done with all this magic that I'm Making. I don't listen anymore, man, all these people fake, yeah I just follow my ambition one day, I'll be great, yeah all right, so you probably heard what that just did. The high air obviously introduces a lot of sizzle, like it's a lot of really high top end. And the mid air is more so boosting the mid frequency range. It's kind of like salt, like you like it, you want to use it, every good meal needs it. But if you put too much in it, it's just not good anymore. So usually I don't really see myself going with much higher settings than like 20% at max, maybe 25, but really more so between like 10 and 20 usually. And if we now just play through the vocals and I'll toggle it on and off by the power button down here, you'll hear the difference when it turns on and off. Pull me up and grind and grind and vibe and vibe and up and fine But I'm feeling like I'm finally fine and what my mind can spice Many thoughts combined and I've been fighting them too long It's time to let them shine, yeah. I am different on my life, I thought I had to hide it Everybody used to tell me that I'll never arrive Shit, but I'm pulling up now, make my story inspiring For all the other kids thinking they have to oblige yeah. Hell no Right, so that is what Fresh Air could do to your vocals Again, it is literally free So anybody out there, it doesn't matter what your skill level is What your level of investment into the whole music thing is It's free, so you should definitely go ahead and grab it that in combination with a very select few other plugins can actually land you a really, really solid mix. But now for everybody that's maybe not into vocal mixing, but that does beats, this also has some really cool implications for you. So personally, I mainly use it either on drums or literally the entire master bus. If you throw it on the entire master bus, it'll brighten everything up a little bit and get rid of the so-called muddy mix. It's not a one size fits all solution. It's not going to fix every single mixing problem that you might have, but it's definitely good at pushing it a little bit, giving it a little bit of extra sparkle and excitement 
excitement. However, usually I'll just put it on my drum group to brighten up the hi-hats mostly and to give the snare a little bit of extra hits. So if we just solo the drums here, listen just to the drums, I'll turn off the fresh air in the drum group and then I'll turn it on periodically. By the way, I have virtually the same settings on the drum group here as well with about 10% mid and about 13 to 15% high. So it's a little hard to hear by itself, so let's listen to the drums in full context and I'll switch fresh air on and off. It's a very subtle effect that really just affects the hi-hats most. It just lifts them up a little bit. And as I was saying earlier, it gives the snare a little bit of extra bite. All right, so that was the first episode of Plugin Discovery. Let me know down in the comments below if you've already heard of Fresh Air or if you're even already using it. And with all that wrapped up, also feel free to leave me some suggestions down in the comments below if you have some secret gems that you'd like to share with the community. And besides all that good stuff, go ahead and follow me on Instagram and I will see you in the next video. Peace.